presenting the Francis Desjeux team, run by Marc Madio, the general manager of the team, and the sporting director, Martial Gaillon. The team is one that really attracts French champions, and Yvon Madio was also French champion in Châtelaine in 1986, in Finisterre country again. Here is Marc Madio, a stage winner on the tour circuit, with his brother, ten times French champion, and Martial Gaillon, vice world champion. In the team is a rider who performed well in London last year in the time trial and who was winner last year of the French time trial championships and the Polynormand, Benoit Vaugrenard. Next we have a Breton back amongst his own for the start, Jeremy Roy, vice European champion. He also shone in the world championships. It's a team and a team selection at the same time. We've picked the riders in the best form at the start of the three weeks. They're riders who have both experience, who are young, and who have the potential to stand out in a team and take part in a tour. There's a mixture of experienced riders and young riders, but in principle it's the best riders of the team that are taking part in the tour. Another Breton making his first start on the tour. He shone twice in the Giro. Johan Le Boulanger. Johan Le Boulanger also shone in Finisterre. Moving on now to a rider who started his 2008 season with a victory in Gabon, Lilian Jagou, who was on the podium in the Coupe de France. Some of the riders were already there last year, and then there were three newcomers to the Tour, Johan Le Boulanger, Arnaud Gérard and Jérémy Roy, who were riding in their first Tour. I hope we managed to pick up a stage victory with one or two of our riders. After, well, if we can fulfill that first contract, we'll move on to the next. In the team, we also find the twice winner of the Et Voc, a man who was on the podium of Milan San Remo in the Paris Bruxelles, Philippe Gilbert, two time winner of the Et Voc. We also find another Breton from the Côte d'Amour. He's been junior French champion, junior world champion, and finished in the top 10 of the Et Voc, Arnaud Gérard. The physical aspect comes first. If you've got the mentality but not the body, it's not worth turning up. It's the physical aspect first and then you add other parameters like group cohesion, the different qualities of each rider and how they combine. Here's a man who was unlucky on the tour last year, but he comes back burning with ambition. Remy Di Gregorio, an excellent climber. He'll be called on to shine if Lady Luck is kind to him, which we sincerely hope she is. In the team, we also find the revelation of last year, a man who finished fourth in the green jersey competition. He's also won five stages on the Tour de l'Avenir, and this year he struck out in the Tour de Picardy. His reputation goes before him, Sebastian Chavonel. I've always been proud of my team, even if sometimes we've been bad, very bad even. But sometimes we've been good. That's the way sport is. And then in the team, a rider who finished second best young rider, second in the Tour de Suisse and sixth in the Gyro. In last year's Tour de France, he came second in Marseille and he won in Angoulême, Sandy Cazar. Sandy Cazar is the leader of this Française des Jeux team. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I hope it's going to be a good tour, with plenty of movement and surprises, with changes in the leaderboard and suspense, so that we can get our taste back for watching the race and the riders.